Erlik is the portrayal of evil in the old Turkic belief system. He has been exiled from the sky and the earth and lives in the underworld, where he controls it from a silver seat inside a green palace made of iron. The narrative of how Erlik was expelled from the sky is shockingly like that of Adam and Eve. According to the story, Algon created humans from nine branches of a tree. He tells these people that they can eat the fruit from five branches of this tree, however the excess four branches are prohibited. Erlik tricks the male Torange and the female Ys into thinking that these branches are not forbidden, so they can eat as much fruit from them as they want. Erlik waited for the snake that guards the tree to go to sleep, and then he climbed the tree and picked the fruit for the humans. At the point when Tengri acknowledges what has occurred, he reviles Ys into conceiving an offspring and encountering all the aggravation, and he rebuffs Torunj by making him produce however many kids as he ought to make the entirety of mankind. Erlik, in the meantime, is expelled from the sky and the earth, while the snake is rebuffed by making it the encapsulation of insidiousness, something to be stepped upon by individuals. Both Torunj and Issa are exiled from the sky and compelled to live on the earth. Erlik is portrayed as an old being who is athletic and strong. His hair, eyes, and eyebrows are completely dark. His facial hair, which has become down to his knees, resembles a snake's tongue. He additionally has horns, an enormous dark moustache that goes straight up to his ears, and wavy hair. He additionally carries a big shield and uses a huge blade. It is said that he rides a black horse, or sometimes a black ox.